Hey friends, Scott Hannon here for a little uh, recap of what uh, happened on today's uh, Scott Hannon Show. First of all, it was Tim McGraw Tuesday. That's why I have my country duds on today because I'm actually going to the Tim McGraw concert at the Alaris Center tonight. And so we decided to do something kind of fun. We had a Tim McGraw Tuesday. And uh, all our bumper music was Tim McGraw today. Now, the show starts with me announcing that, kind of fired up, and what happens instantly? I'm chastised by the Common Sense Club audience for purchasing a ticket to a uh, country singer who evidently loves Obama. I didn't even know that. I was going to go there and listen to the guy sing, and now I have to be tortured with the idea that he and Faith Hill, his lovely bride, are big fans of uh, Barack Obama. Didn't know. Sorry. Uh, going to just go try and go enjoy the concert and you know take it in and uh, and forget the fact that uh, he's a bit of a lib. I guess he is kind of the Chris Christopherson thing. Uh, not, not many country singers are, are libs, but Tim McGraw is. So anyway... Hope you enjoy the music. Hope he just shuts up and sing, uh, sings no uh, no uh, political comments tonight. Just stick to the music. What is it with us conservatives? If we want to enjoy ourselves. Uh, we have to, you know, sort of set the political thing aside there. You know, like watching a movie. Good movie. Good actor. Complete moron when it comes to politics. Well, evidently the same is true for Tim McGraw, which is uh, rather unfortunate. Uh, we had Rex Santorum on the program today. Try to get him to take the bait on whether or not Newt blew it. He said, "Look, I'm not going to play political pundit," but he did. Uh, Obviously, slay, say it's unfortunate and um, doesn't like it much. Um, and also, he said, look, I've, I've supported Rick, uh, Paul Ryan's uh, position, but I don't think it's bold enough. So he's in a very different position than the, the Newt Gingrich is for sure. Michael Brown came on, talked a little bit about the sweepstakes of 2012. Doesn't think Sarah Palin's going to get in. A lot of our listeners do, uh, but otherwise thinks Mitch Daniels would be a good candidate. Talked a little bit about who's in, who's out with the, the great Michael Brown on the program. We had a fun discussion about light bulbs. Yes, light bulbs, because uh, we're starting to see the ugly head being reared of the 2007 congressional legislation banning the old-fashioned light bulb. That's right, just not efficient enough. And uh, a lot of folks are having to opt for the $50 LED jobs because those uh, twisty Q ones don't work well, especially in this climate. Have you noticed? So anyway, that was an interesting discussion on the program today, and we enjoyed it uh, very much. Also, sad news, Harlan, Har Harmon Killebrew passed away just a few days ago, announced that he was ending his, uh, his battle uh, in, in the fight against cancer. And so uh, Dave St. Peter of the Minnesota Twins joining us on the program to talk a little bit about that and, uh, and reflect a little on the killer, Harmon Killebrew, who I remember so well. Just a few things we tackled on today's Common Sense Club and Scott Hinnon Show. Details at scotthinnon.com if you missed it. Also check out the Say Anything blog, and thanks for watching.